mixed with the amazing white. We got a little of the phthalo blue, ivory black, some lizard and crimson in there. Those are great colors, make a nice base for a mountain. Pour it out flat. Then get you a little roll of paint around the edge of your knife. All right, let's go up here now. I thought we'd make a mountain today. It's kind of strong and big and it's a strong mountain up here today. Now I'm putting a lot of pressure into this canvas. It can take it. It's a strong canvas. Very strong. That's what a nice strong mountain that we can do. Many people are asking about those nice wintry mountains. Those nice white and blue mountains. There we go. All we want is a nice outside shapes. That's all we're looking for. These nice edges to them. And sometimes I like to leave these little broken spots. If we can see those little broken spots up here, it gives it nice little details into this mountain already. So I'm just going to scrape it out. I'm going to scrape it. Then we take the paint already on it and just kind of mix it in there with it too. Don't waste that good paint. That's good stuff. And I like to do this right here too. I bubble up a little bit. And that can get me started for some mist or whatever. Or some nice little broken spots on this mountain. All right. Alrighty, now let's take this old two-inch brush, some old brush we're using, to kind of pull this paint out a little bit. Kind of pull it out. And then I'll take this brush, kind of do sea strokes or swooshy motions. And lighter and lighter as I go down to make that mist. See, you can make it go this way, that way, whatever way you want to go. And so now it's time for you to decide where you want your light to come from. You want to come from the right or the left. If you're left-handed, it'll be a lot easier for you to highlight on the left side of the mountain. But I'm right-handed, and most of my most of the time I like to paint my highlights coming from the right side. So I'll wipe off the old palette knife, and we'll take this paint here and spush it up there. Now you need a nice thick paint, something nice and creamy. You get a nice little roll of paint right there. Let's go up here. And we don't want to use any pressure on this knife. We just want it to go. Just let it, let it swoosh down like that. I like to use kind of a motion. Like I'm just jabbing at a little bit. Now it gets these nice clumps of paint to really work for you. Let it go down like that. There's another little swoop. Be another one right there. Let the whole knife just go down real smoothly. It takes a great good paint to do it with. Some people say, if I got a cheap paint, you know, or it ain't working right, how can I get it to work? Well, what you can do, there's a couple of ways you can get it to work for you. You can put it in the freezer, let it freeze for a little bit, and it'll thicken it up a lot. Um, or you could put it on a piece of paper towel. That's if you got the wrong paint. If it ain't working for you. Now, So, put it in the freezer, or you can put it on a piece of newspaper or paper towel or something. Get some of that oil out with it. But um, I usually like to use the Grumbacher paints because it just—it's already done for me. I don't have to do anything extra. Alrighty. So, let's see here. Maybe you want this to kind of come down a little bit more like that. I like these big, nice mountains like that. So, let's take and make a, sh a shadow color. Take titanium white and just a tiny bit of phthalo blue with that. Just a little bit. Make it nice and marbly. Just like that. And we'll see what we what we get up here. Let's go back up here. And I think I'll start on these smaller uh, peaks. Put these in here. Just a nice, good old wintry mountain. No pressure on it. Remember, no pressure. If you put pressure on this knife, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. It's not going to work at all. I'm going to use a tiny little piece of my knife here, the small end. And I'm going to go up and get these little small details up here. Very easy to get in there with this knife. This knife has two different blades on it. So you can do that. I'm going to go back into my titanium white now. And get a little roll of paint right there. We'll go back up here, and just figure out where you want to, where you want these to touch back up at, wherever you want to be. 
You get a lot of questions on these type of mountains. Let's hope this helps you out a little bit. There it goes that way. Now I'll tell you what I'll do. To make this more interesting, I'll take a little bit of this mountain color I already had mixed up. And I'll get a little roll of paint. Let's go back up here. Now right here, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to pull this mountain peak right out from that mountain. It won't take much to do it. Just like that right there. And see, it pulls that out there. You can even do it up here a little bit if you want to. Just a tiny little bit of that mountain color. And it makes it pull right out from there. You can make it come out from right here too. Maybe there's a little bit comes out that way. Alright. See, it's fun little things that you can do like that that will get your painting to sell. So, those little extras really get people excited about it. And I get excited about it and I can't hardly talk. So, if I can start talking too loud or too fast for you, just comment below and let me know to slow down a little bit. Because I get so excited. We see all these nice things come together and you just can't help it. Alright, so I'm going to take this old 2 inch brush and start making some mist down here. So, I'm just going to take this brush and just crunch it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just follow the shapes that your mountain's going. And we'll give it a little bit of a pull. X stroke. Maybe we'll grab a little bit of titanium white with this. And get that to come in there. Just a little bit. You may not be able to see it on here, but it just gives you just that a little more strength you may need to get that mist to come through for you. I'm gonna take this old brush right to some of that mountain color. Here's a nice little trick you can do. We'll take this and wrap this one around. So just that easy. We just wrap that old mountain around. That easy. And it could be trees or whatever you want it to turn into. 